Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we're looking at the brand new 2022 Pro Debut just came out. I've got a jumbo box, I've got a hobby box for you. We're going to check them both out. Now the Pro Debut set, it'll use that 2022 Tops design for 200 of the top prospects and minor leaguers. So a lot of the guys that you got familiar with in Bowman, you're going to see them again in this product so you can see pretty cool henry davis gets the cover boy spot here and this is a hobby box we're going to start out with this has four autographs per box which is pretty awesome the jumbo box only has three we'll talk about why that is in a minute but first let's go ahead and bring in our sponsor it is going to be enforcer torres he's got both of these boxes thank you very much enforcer for sponsoring this video if you would like to get your name on a card and have us break some cards for you like this check us out on patreon we sell all of our spots there and um, it is $4.99 a month to sign up. We also have our Saturday showdown filling right now. But before I rip these open, let's show you the odds. Because there are parallels throughout this product. You can pause that and read through it at your own discretion. All right, so here we go. You can see the 2022 Tops design. Misiel Urbina's on the front. Ed Howard, nice prospect there. Pete Crow Armstrong. We've got a pink already. It's going to be Malfrin Sosa. It's going to be numbered out of 199. Jefferson Caro is a nice prospect. Jeter Downs, Noah Miller, and Luis Matos is the last one in pack number one. Four autographs in a hobby box. And if you want to grab one of these, the price point is around $75 per hobby. The jumbos run a little more. There's Khalil Watson. That's a nice one right there. He was one of the top guys in 2022 Bowman. We've got Maximo Costa. Blue team color match right there. Awesome card. Numbered out of 150. So already two packs and two numbered cards. We'll take that. Next pack could have potentially an autograph, which would be nice as well. Let us see what we've got. There's Brainer Bonacci leading things off. Henry Davis, the number one overall pick. In the draft for the Buccos, uh, we've got Steve, uh, Stevian Machado, Cespedes, Reed Trimble, and Joe Mack. Here's the backs of the card. Typical 2022 tops back. All right, next pack up for Enforcer, we've got Deshaun Knowles. Shea Langoliers, an insert of Sal Frelick, brick by brick. CJ Rodriguez, where's the autographs? I was thinking we'd have at least one by now. They'll be coming up here for Enforcer. By the way, I think last year, Enforcer, if I'm not mistaken, he ended up taking home a whole case of Pro Debut in a Saturday showdown. There's our first one, Connor Norby. You'll notice they're sticker autos. I think primarily they're going to be sticker autos in this product. But still a nice card right there, Connor Norby. And um, second round pick by the Orioles. Take that one. Dario Lopez, Diego Cartaya. And Jose Salas is the last one right there, I think, after I finish the stack. Rather than doing one pack at a time, I'll probably do the good old Super Rip. In that jumbo box, there's only six packs, by the way. There's Michael McGreevy, who's a first-round pick. Josh Young, now in the big leagues for the Texas Rangers. Maddox Bruns, a first-round pick. Wes Kath, another nice prospect. And a 1960 Topps design, Adrian Beltre. So it's going to uh, pay homage to Beltre's minor league resume there and that's a nice little insert set in here as well where they take some major stars like Beltre and put them on 1960 tops in their minor league uniforms I think last year they may have done that with 64 tops I remember seeing a Mariano Rivera 64 tops from pre pro debut last year there's Benny Bombs, Benny Montgomery, Yorbeat Vivas, Marcelo Meyer nice prospect and Cameron Colley is the last one let's finish off this first stack and see what we've got here for Enforcer, we've got Cal Conley leading us off. Looks like an insert coming up. It's going to be Benny Bombs, drafty debut. Benny Montgomery, a first-round pick for the Rockies. And Gunnar Hogland, another nice prospect. All right, so there's still going to be three more autographs in this box. There's no relics or anything in this. Pro debut used to put fragments of the farm relics. You might remember those. They'd have, like, banners and... Everything else, ticket stub, relics. They got rid of those, though, after the pandemic. 
and they haven't brought them back since, which is kind of cool. I think it used to be two autos and two relics per pro debut box. I would much rather have four autos than any relics in here, so that's kind of good. I'll probably be putting some of these in, into my Patreon packs this coming month. I bought a bunch of cases of pro debut. Really good shot at an autograph in here with 24 packs. One in every eight has an autograph, which is pretty nice. I just did this whole stack for us here. So let's see. I haven't ha really had any numbered cards since the uh, first two packs. There's Alex Benalis, our second autograph there. Alex Benalis, a Brewers third round pick. Micka Bell, Matt Fraser, who's a nice Pirates prospect. Jason Dominguez. That's a nice card right there. Everyone's all about Jason Dominguez. Pedro Pineda, another very nice prospect. Andrew Painter, Joshua Baez, Jordan Villars, and Carlos Delgado. I still do not understand why Carlos Delgado did not get more Hall of Fame consideration. Fell off the ballot right away after one vote. Francisco Alvarez, he got the call up. He had 20 home, 22 home runs in the minors. Jordan Lawler is a great prospect. Hester Kirst had another great prospect, so should have another autograph coming up soon. There's Anthony Volpe, Max Muncy, and we've got Colton Kowser, drafty debut insert card, Curtis Mead. That's one that I've told you to watch out for with uh, Bowman, Denzel Clark, and Maximo Acosta. Once again, Luis Angel Acuna. We've all gotten accustomed to that name over the past couple years. There's Will Bed Bednar. Another first-round pick, David Bednar's younger brother, who's the closer for the Pirates. Robert Hassel, part of the Big Juan Soto deal. Harry Ford, a first-round pick for the Mariners. Alec Thomas. Here's our next numbered card. It's going to be Dario Lopez of the Pirates. It's a blue, autograph number three, so it'll be numbered out of 150. So Dario Lopez for the Buccos. And we're do one more autograph. There's Brady House, a really nice prospect. Brendan Davis. And we have a Roger Clemens, young Roger Clemens, 1960 Tops style card right there. Roger Clemens, Austin Martin, who has not really uh, lived up to the hype in the minor league. It's been kind of a rough go for him since he was the uh, consensus number one guy from 2021 Bowman. Everybody was all about Austin Martin and Blaze Jordan last year all right so let's check out this last stack there should be one final autograph in this stack and then we'll move into the jumbos and check that out as well I figure we might as well do them both in the same video so you can have your uh you know have have all the information you need so you know which one to get if you're interested in maybe getting some pro debut for whatever reason these packs are extra hard for me to open i have to like start it there and then go to this side weird but the jumbos are about $100 a piece. The hobbies here, again, they're about $75 a piece. Now, the big difference is the Jumbos are going to give you less autographs, only three autographs, but they're going to make it up to you because they put a bunch of chrome cards in there. So there's 36 chrome cards per box, whereas in the hobby boxes, you only get paper. So here we go. Let's check this next one out. Alex Benalis, we just pulled his autograph. Chase Petty, a first round pick. Alexander Canario, Grayson Rodriguez, there he is. Big Ellie De La Cruz. This guy is one to look out for. Check the uh, minor league stats on him this year. You will be impressed. Ellie De La Cruz may be up in the big leagues next year. And Anthony Volpe is another big one. You got to have him on your radar. He'll be up soon. There's Luis Rodriguez. There's Eggy Rosario, Corbin Carroll, Riley Green. He's uh, in the big leagues now. And Darrell Hernandez is going to be our fourth and final autograph of this box. Orioles fifth round pick in 2019. Lonnie White, nice prospect for the Buccos. Colton Kowser. And now with that, hey, Ken Griffey Jr. minor league card. That's an awesome one right there. Check it out, the kid. 1960. Tops design. Love that card. Here's the back of the card in case you're wondering. It's the official regular 60 Tops design. Very, very nice card. JJ Blade in the big leagues now. Some of these guys have received their call. Marco Luciano will probably be up before too long. Eric Payne, another nice prospect. And we're going to finish this box out here in just a minute. We've got a Eric Payne. Speaking of Eric Payne, that is a gold out of 50. Looks to be a gold. JC Correa, Jordan Walker, nice one for the St. Louis Cardinals. Elijah Tatis, man, not working out for Elijah Tatis. The Tatis family, he 
got designated, for, I guess not designated for assignment, just flat out released. James Wood, another big time prospect traded for Juan Soto. Brett Beatty, saw him get called up to the big leagues this year and do good things. Austin Hendrick from the Reds. And Dickenzie Noel from the Guardians, another nice prospect. All right, so let's check out the jumbo box right now and see what we've got in here. Again, there's only six packs in here, but there's three autographs. So every other pack on average will have an auto. So it's a kind of a quick rip with only six packs, 24 cards per pack. But we will be seeing six chrome cards per pack, which is pretty cool. Um, I was going to try to show you the odds, but the pack just came right open. So the hobby packs were tough for me to open. This just uh, seems very simple to, to open. All right, so here we go. The chrome cards will be right in the middle, and there will be three autographs. Again, the price on these jumbos is about $100. Get a couple extra inserts in here. Denzel Clark, that is going to be numbered out of 75 we got Harry Ford, and here's the Chromes. Colton Kowser, Lonnie White. Man, Chrome just makes everything look better, doesn't it? Eggy Rosario, Luis Rodriguez, Alec Thomas, and that one is a refractor. Very, very nice. Ryan Spikes, here's the rest of these base cards. We've already seen these in the other box. Moving on to the next pack for Enforcer Toys. By the way, I've got... How many more videos do I have? today i'm gonna to do one more today but i have a new release preview video of the tops chrome mega boxes i've got tops gallery and i've got a couple stay classy videos i could do so there's a whole bunch of stuff this weekend also we'll be live tonight with the saturday showdown here's the chromes jordan lawler joshua Baez. looks like unfortunately no um parallels there from those chromes but jose torres is a nice one jose torres auto reds number three round pick so enforcer congrats on that and hey we got a chrome parallel after all it's out of 75 misael urbina nice looking card right there so me personally i like pro debut i think it's a nice cheap product relatively speaking i mean you could buy a hobby box of series two most stores will have series two from 2022 tops for right around $100 a box or a little less, maybe 90. And you'll get, what, one autograph in there if you're lucky. It's, most of the time it's gonna be a relic. But here, with these, you get four autographs per hobby, which is pretty cool. And a lot of these guys are gonna be big time future stars. We've got a nice orange Jordan Walker right here. Check this one out. It's numbered out of just 25. So that's a nice looking card. It'll be a fun one to do these for the Saturday showdown tonight with all the numbered cards and the jumbos. We've got two cases of these available, the jumbos. I've, I think I bought like five hobby cases, but I'm not going to be breaking those hobby cases. I'm going to be using those to put them in your Patreon packs for the month of October along with um, other hobby packs, of course. Probably have some more series too. Adley Rushman gets a card in this. He's been called up now for some time. And uh, he's going to get some votes for the Rookie of the Year this year. Probably finish in the top three. There's Gabriel Rodriguez, Deion Sanders. we got a chrome card here of Jalen Palmer. And we've got an autograph of Jay Allen. Very nice. The Palmer's out of 75. That is a beautiful card right there. Future Cornerstones card, Jay Allen. He was the number one pick for the Reds at the end of the first round. And that is a beautiful card. Look at the back of that. Very colorful. I like it. Jay Allen for Enforcer. JJ Blade. And we get these base cards here. Darren Baker at the back side. Two packs left in this preview video for Enforcer. Edgar Caro's on the back. Let's see what we can find in this. Lost track how many autographs. I think we're due one more. Marco Luciano. Maybe actually, maybe we got all three now that I think about it. Nick Gonzalez, future shortstop for the Pirates. will make it interesting with O'Neill Cruz currently at short. I think O'Neill Cruz more likely is going to have to move. Despite his rocket arm being six foot seven at short, might pose some difficulties. Malfreen Sosa, numbered out of 99, green. Ellie De La Cruz once again, Nolan Jones. And that'll do it for that pack. We're down to our last pack. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I hope you're all having a very pleasant Saturday. We'll have two videos for you today, this one, and then I'm probably going to do gallery as well. So make sure you turn on your post notifications, that little bell. Ring that bell, click it to all. So every time I post a new video, you get notified 
via the YouTube app, and we'll also go live with the Saturday Showdown later on tonight. All right, here we go. Last hit. It's going to be a blue. A Rubio Angeles, numbered out of 150 for Enforcer. And there's your jumbo box. And there you have it. That is the Pro Debut 2022 new release preview video so thank you very much for watching everybody let me know in the comments what you think about this product i personally think it's nice i, I like it and uh, a lot of that has to do with the uh, very nice price point on it i think it's cheap and i like that they give you a lot of autographs so it's, it's just more fun to open up when there's more autographs in there for sure so folks have a great rest of your saturday check us out in a little bit i'll have the gallery new release preview video for you as well and then check us out tonight for the saturday showdown have a great rest of your Saturday, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.